Most of us fell in love with her as Sloan on Entourage for all those years, and now part of the return of Super Troopers, Super Troopers 2 in theaters on Friday, April 20th. Uh, or if I wasn't an NFL employee, I would say it would be 420. <laughs> Uh, but uh, since I am, it's uh, I must say it's a week from this Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Super on, Troopers 2, back in theaters, Emmanuel Shrieky in that film. Good to see you and here nice again. Nice to see you. How you Thanks. been? You're good. Really well. Thanks. I yeah. mean, this is th this is one we just showed a we just showed a clip of it, and just seeing you know we got Jane, Kevin coming in studio uh, later on this week. Just oh, seems I'm like so one of these. I'm so excited for you. Uh, well, I mean, look, you you you've been part of so much uh, uh, from you know the Zohan movie with Sandler, and obviously Entourage of having fun on a set. I'm Imagine this was something quite similar it to that, right? It was. It was. It was a month in Boston. We were, it was like summer camp. It was the best time to be there. It was like August into September. Okay, so the leaves are turning. Yes, okay. it was so great. And so many fun dinners. And, you know, listen, there's so many great comedians in this film. Right. And uh, like I was telling you before, there was really witnessing like some comedic genius mm -hmm. and how they work, how they collaborate together to get the joke. Mm -hmm. It's. It's good. And that, you know, so you, their troop is a Broken Lizard comedy team, and mm -hmm. it's written and starring the Broken Lizard comedy team. Uh, so who, uh, out of those that were also in this film that you got to ha be on the set with, was were you there when Rob Lowe was there too? Or? Yeah, okay. so my character actually works with Rob Lowe's character. Mm -hmm. So I was there, I was there for the entire time. So okay. the only one that I didn't get to spend any real quality time with was um, Linda Carter. Wonder Woman. I mean, Come on, but you right? know she's going to be at the New York premiere. Okay. So I'm going to make sure to get a picture. Royalty. Of her. <laughs> I mean, Linda Carter is royalty. Didn't she I mean, just get a star on the? Uh, hey. I think you, she did. I don't know, but she deserves it. <laughs> Yes. She deserves it. Certainly, again, the 12-year-old uh, version of me would say she deserves it, <laughs> <laughs> you know, from, from way back in, in the day. Um, so now, uh, he, last time we spoke, we, we talked about, you know, you threw out a first pitch at a Dodgers game and mm -hmm, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. You have now recently come off another moment where you, you did yes. something uh, physical at a sporting event. <laughs> yes. What's this about? You were hanging out? They are few and far between, okay. but this one was for the Lupus Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, Michael B. Jordan mm -hmm. had done this big charity day and I had to do um, a shot and if I got it in mm. we would make fifteen thousand mm. dollars and I got it in From, it's on my Instagram <laughs> so how how far are we talking about 10 feet 15 um, feet it was, was about, it a significant was it a three-point I mean, shot or it was, was it? a side one it was like from the side okay. it was for sure like maybe 10 feet right it was proper okay Michael B gave me like a big high five. It was a nice moment. Well, that works like that. Who else was who else was hanging out with you right there um, for the Lupus Foundation? Gosh, so there was a bunch of people. I mean, you know what? Nobody that I was super familiar with, but a lot of Mike's <laughs> friends that I didn't even know. Right. Um, but it was good. The cast of Creed, pretty much, right there. I mean, look. I mean, Michael B. Jordan. He's he's, he's crushing it right now. Crushing. There's, there's, no, there's no question about that. Yeah. All right. So now we we were talking before about uh, you know um, <laughs> with Russell Crowe selling anything off. What what uh, what what stuff from your career do you have in your garage or something like that or just hanging out? Something from your. Do you know what? I actually had to let go of. Long story short, mm -hmm. there is this book. It's called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. Mm -hmm. And she makes you get rid of clutter. And I can't do that. It's, But uh, the emotional, there's a part for like emotional things. Yes. You can take pictures of them, you can do whatever. For me, I was so gung-ho of getting rid of stuff. Mm -hmm. I had like 50 hoodies. Like how many entourage hoodies does one person need? <laughs> I had a lot. Well, did each hoodie have a, sig a significance from a scene that you were in or no, anything like that? No, it was like season. Okay, uh, a season, season two hoodie. Three. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? Which, by the way, is a little cheesy to go out rocking my uh, Your entourage, entourage yeah, hoodie. I was an like entourage. Yeah. Right, exactly. Did you know? <laughs> well, I don't know. I just went on vacation and I rocked a Rich Eisen show cap. Is that Was that wrong of me to do no. this? It was international, though. Is in her, what do you what do you make uh, of that face? Always, always branding, Rich. Always branding. <laughs> you know, I, I'm trying, <laughs> but I know what you're saying. Like you, know you can't what just I mean. sure. Like right. the casting crew I have hoodie. a bag. Uh huh. I have a bag that I travel with to the airport, and it's like small, and it just says, you know, Entourage mm -hmm. season eight. 
Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm okay with that. It's a good bag. All right. So you have <laughs> that. So you're not you're not getting rid of all that no, stuff. No. Okay. And then Del Tufo, we we had this before too. We discussed this. I don't know if you heard it in the green room. Uh, Mike, our our audio executive, as he likes to be called, oh, yeah. yes, uh, was asked a question because uh, uh, for some reason we're giving him a platform to answer questions of people who have, are asking him for advice. Uh, somebody asked you about what your what a great idea for a first date is. Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. And you want to tell Emmanuel what your idea great for a first date is? A helicopter ride to Catalina dinner. And back. Yes. Really? For a, Wait, a first, first date? Yes. date? A first date? Somebody that you've you've just met? Hell yeah. Really? You want to yeah. make an impression? You wouldn't be totally freaked out if somebody... No, I would be like, wow, this is your first date? I can't wait to see what the second date is. That would be a flight to San Francisco. <laughs> Dude, see, I don't can act like you up. have a plan. <laughs> I actually never did done this so before. Funny. I actually did do the San Francisco thing. Oh, I did do that for a date. <laughs> right after I got divorced. Now it just gets creepier. See, but, so that's, so that's not idea. a problem. To me, that seems pretty damn aggressive. No, you though. want to know why? Because I feel like these days, mm -hmm. your first date, mm -hmm. you've already done so much research on each other. Like, it's not, there's no blind dates anymore. It's like, you have the internet and you have the whatever, all these. Twitter, Google, all, all, of all that it. stuff. So you really have an idea of, like, who this person is. Okay. So if you find out that this person is uh, somebody who works a soundboard <laughs> but refers to himself as an audio executive, okay, wears cargo shorts all the time, and uh, and, and on top of all of it, um, has his own Ustream on Friday night where he sits in his apartment. And Condo. Come on. Apartment. Condo, be, okay, condo, condo. On, and up. and DJs for all those who are watching live via Ustream. Mm -hmm. That person offers you a helicopter flight to Catalina. That's still you're still in. I that? mean, listen, if that person mm -hmm. yes is into all of those things, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my! All gosh. right, Del Tempo, <laughs> you're in. <laughs> Wow! Wow! I have no comment. Now, but you're so sweet. I mean, are you saying yeah, that I mean, just you're to the be nice person ever? No. Yes. Because because when when you walked on the set, Chris is like saying, "Oh, uh, uh, I'm friends with Aaron and Michael." We have, we have and Erica. you're like, we, "Oh yeah, Aaron and Michael." Friends. And I thought you were just being nice. No, but I, did I not say? Yeah, Erica Thomas. That's what I'm saying. Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Homie. <laughs> we're gonna be at a wedding together at some point whenever they decide to get married. Yeah. Okay. Story. So this is legit. You actually know the people that I Chris do. dropped. I names. do. Yeah. I do. And you you think Mike Del Tufo's idea for a first date is because I thought that's really aggressive. I mean, listen, if like there is some woman that would 100 percent appreciate that and mm -hmm. be like, wow, that was epic. Wow. It's not for everybody. No, definitely not. <laughs> I always back in my dating days always dated somebody uh, after the first date, it was always within two to three weeks of her birthday. Oh. And then I was always put in a position of like, okay, I, I kind of like her, but if I now try and make it so special, you know? Yeah, it's I a fine line. Was, it's a fine line. I know, line. But, but that's why I'm saying a, a helicopter flight. I'm just trying to get you to say that he doesn't know a damn thing about it, you know? How much is that running you, Mike? It. Yeah. It's not that much. It's about 425, give or take. Really? Trust me. Yeah. It's not so bad. then, what would be a no-no from? <laughs> She's so into this. What, what would be idea. a no, what, I know? What would be a no-no for you on a first date then? Hmm. What would that be? In and Out Burger. Do you know what? That's no, good you too. know you want to know like <laughs> sure. lame. Yeah, sure. Like if a first date was like, yeah, so let's go get uh, dinner and go see a movie. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, uh, no. Really? A movie? Yeah, because there's no conversation. There's zero is it is? conversation. It's so lame. Don't get to know each other. You can do that like when you've been dating for six months. What if the movie Super Troopers 2? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> In theaters near you on April the 20th, a week from this Friday. Well done. Well done, Rich. Otherwise known as 420 by some people. I don't understand. I don't get what's being put down. Uh, at E Shrieky on Twitter, I follow you there as well as on Instagram as well. Um, 
Come back anytime you want. Thank you. Please. So good to see you. It's always fun. And always. He's just, I mean, he's right I, now Del Tufo's in Cloud Nine. You have absolutely <laughs> flabbergasted Brockman. I'm putting this up. All right. right so, Paul. when's the next Ask Mike Del Tufo se session? When's that? Uh, next week. Once a week, we'll do it. Oh, oh once, once a week. week. Less week. is more for once the guy who wants to fly to Catalina with somebody they just met. <laughs> oh, wow. my gosh. I cannot believe it. Super Troopers 2 in theaters near you, Friday. 420. Good to see you, Emmanuel. <laughs> nice to see you, you got it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.